Hey there, I'm Melissa Whaley, and today we are going to be walking through the setup process to create a Wave account. And this is a great free bookkeeping program. I recommend it to a ton of clients. This is just step one in the process. If you wanna learn more about Wave accounting, keep checking out this channel, hit subscribe, and I have a link down below in the description to take you to my full Wave accounting workshop course. You'll definitely want to check that out if you think that WAVE is the right system for you. So let's dive in. All right, so we are going to walk through the process of setting up a brand new WAVE account. So we are going to go to their homepage, which is waveapps.com and click sign up for free. Pretty easy there. I always recommend uh, creating a unique login with your email versus signing up with a Google account. It just provides an extra level of um, security and protection. So you're going to enter your email and create a password. Once you've entered your account information, as in created a new account, Wave is going to walk you through this onboarding process. And this is just to give them a little more information about your business so that they can tailor, tailor your WAVE account to your industry and also to um, find out more about their users. So you wanna enter a business name and uh, since this is a dummy account that I'm creating, I'm just going to make up a name. All right, now there's, this is a little bit more obscure. Right here, it's going to detect your location based on your IP address and suggest the country and the currency. Make sure to check this, and if you need to change it, change it to the correct country. Sometimes if you're traveling, it may detect the wrong country and the wrong currency. This also could be an issue if you use a VPN service um, that masks your IP address. If you have no idea what any of that means, don't worry about it. Just make sure you're in the right country and click let's go. All right, so Wave is gonna ask you where you wanna get started and you always wanna click organize your finances. This is gonna take you to the home base in Wave and allow you to set up the basics for tracking your income and expenses. Not everyone is gonna have invoicing in WAVE. Not everyone is going to have employees. So this is the best place to start. Now that we have set up and created our account, we're here and we need to start tracking things. So on the left-hand side is the navigation bar. This is gonna take you to all the places you need to go. And the first thing you want to do is connect your bank account. So this is going to help sync your online banking to your WAVE account. And this is one of the core features of using WAVE accounting or really any cloud-based accounting software is that you don't have to manually enter any transactions. The software is going to connect directly with your bank and pull everything in for you. It also connects directly with PayPal. It does not currently connect directly with Stripe because Stripe is kind of a different type of thing. Um, so I will have a separate video set up to talk about Stripe and Wave and how they work together, similar with if you use Square. So this would be where you find your bank um, or search for your bank. They have a lot of different banks that they connect with. But if you use a smaller, more localized bank, there is a chance that it would not be in here. So just double check. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, connect a bank account that I have so that you'll have some transactions to see. So I've typed in my bank credentials and Wave is currently connecting to my online banking and seeing if my bank requires me to answer any security questions. Every bank is going to be different. So 
Um, don't freak out if this takes a little while and if it requires some additional security. You know, it's going to vary greatly by bank. Okay, so it's going to ask um, about the different accounts. So we have a checking account here. It's going to ask what business to import it into. Of course, this is going to be your primary business. If you have multiple businesses, you can have multiple wave accounts for different businesses all under one login. That's a little more advanced though. Um, okay, so payment account. So we need to create a new account. We don't have an account created in wave yet. And depending on most banks will allow you to import up to 91 days of transactions. So that's as far back as it'll go. We let it go. If you have multiple bank accounts under one login, so say that your business accounts and your personal accounts are all connected to your one online banking login, you can toggle these on and off. So you only want to turn on the bank accounts that are for your business. The ones that are personal, you can switch to off. So then I'm going to go ahead and click continue and it's going to start to pull everything into Wave. So we have some transactions to work with. Okay, so now you guys have seen the basics of setting up a Wave account, getting your bank connected. If you wanna learn more about how to use Wave, then go ahead and click the link in the bio so you can see the full Wave accounting course. This is just one video out of a series that I did training you on how to do how to use Wave in its full capacity. And if you guys like this video, please click like and hit subscribe and definitely share this out to any other business owners or freelancers you know who need help with their bookkeeping. I'll talk to you guys soon. Mm -hmm.